My name is Nigel Raby, a colleague of Samir's in Glasgow, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I would insert a complex case into a personal teaching file or museum. So, for example, a patient may have a chest x-ray with lung cancer, has a subsequent CT scan of the chest after pelvis, has a isotope bone scan, and maybe a PET CT to complete staging. I want all of these series together in one file so that I can progress through the investigation of the patient. For today's example, however, I'm using a bone tumour case with a plain film, MRI, CT and isotope bone scan. So our first decision is which database we want to use, either creating a new one, as Samir has showed you, or taking an existing database, which may be your personal teaching file or the department file, whatever you have set up. In this case, we're taking this database here, our SBTR registry, and then just highlight any case in there because this is the database we want to import our case to. So we click on the import button, top left. Uh, we navigate to the case. This is on a memory stick. And Fred Smith is a fictitious anonymous name given for the purposes of this demonstration. Fred Smith has four investigations, as I've described, and we want all four of them, so we can import these as one group by highlighting them using the shift and left mouse button. Click on open, and we want to copy the files. That's important, copy the files. And down in the uh, bottom corner here, you will see the activity, and we now have Fred Smith these four different investigations. First thing I like to do then is to anonymize them straight away. So I need to highlight all of them again, shift and left mouse to uh, highlight them, go to anonymize. With everything else anonymized, all I want to change here is the patient's ID and the patient's name. And because I'm in the SBTR registry, I'm going to give it an SBTR number. That's just what we do here, but you will have your own coding system and numbering system that you can insert at this point. You then click on replace because we're going to replace the original data with the new data we've just punched in. So Fred Smith will disappear from the top of our database here very shortly. When we say, do we want to delete the images? Yes, we want to delete them because the new ones with the new numbering will appear elsewhere and they will be down at the bottom if we're on a numbering system that works in that way. So here we are, our SBTR 5000 case. Again, still four separate series. So if we look and see what's in each one of these series, we can do some editing here if you want to. So for example, this MRI has several survey sequences which are superfluous to my needs. So if I click on one and then using the uh, shift or command button with the left click I can highlight these three. I want to get rid of these. If I right click this opens up a sub menu where I can say delete select series thumbnails. If we click on that and say OK I want to delete these, yes I do, you'll see that those delete and I'm left now with the main diagnostic imaging sequences. On the next series this is uh, isotope scan with lots of uh, information. So you can do as I've done there, you can either click on the arrow and it will expand the contents of each of the series or you can just click on it and you will see thumbnails of them all. Either of these methods work to get rid of the series that you don't want. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of the flow sequences. Same idea, so I can do that. And I can delete selected series thumbnails, and that works to get rid of that. I don't want those. The next is plain image. That's fine. I only want one of those. Finally... Uh, I've got some dose report and localizers, so I could use the method I've shown you. There is another way if you expand the content, there's your dose report and localizers. So this is an alternative. You can highlight that again using the shift and left click, command button. You can add this soft tissue series, I don't want those. 
And a quick way of getting rid of these without using the mice is to hit backspace, which brings up the same question, delete images, and then you can hit return. So you can't see me doing that, that was all on the keyboard, backspace and return. But you can use the method I've shown you with the drop down menu and the, for using the right click on the mouse. So I now have trimmed my series down for all four to the images I actually want to keep. So finally, I can now again highlight all four using the uh, shift and right uh, left click. And this is the one that you must use the mouth on. So you right click over this and you scroll down the sub menu till you get to merge selected studies. This will now merge all four studies into one. Click OK. It does warn you, but click OK. And there we now have SBTR 5000, all 20 series, as one entry into the database. So if I click on that now, you will see that I have the MR images, the CT images, plain film, and the isotope images, all within the same case. So I can start off showing the uh, plain film. If I choose to, I can then have a CT scan. I may get rid of that, etc, etc. So that is how I would put a case into the museum, amalgamating the various modalities. And I will put up another posting following this to show how I may add teaching information in the way of Word files, PDF files, histology, uh, best used for museum type cases and I hope you will uh, have a look at that. I hope this has been of some help and instruction to you and we'd love to receive any feedback.